I had come across this this song. I'm from outer space. I got Milky Way for blood. And it's a song called Jericho. I don't know why, but I can't stop listening to it. Oh, I'm so hypnotized. Like she's she's angelic. This is Lucifer. He is singing to a generation, trying to get us to identify with him. Here we go again. It's 2023 and we are seeing happen in real time the historical and annoying, sickening behavior of white people demonizing black people, their practices and art, but then turning back around and finding a way to profit off of, monetize, get notoriety from the same Thing that they had demonized and demonized black people for. So not too long ago, this artist who goes by the name Eniko released this song titled Jericho and the song was a massive hit. It was all over the place, right? Hi, I'm from outer space. I got Milky Way for blood, evolution in my veins. I'm gone. I've been far away, I'm illuminated now, make a move, start a waves. I've been dreaming about flying for a long time. I had a vision from the first they want to go sign. Yeah, artificially intelligent way. I, I'm your future past and present, I'm a fine line. Yeah, I'm a missing link of this illusion. I am not really here, I'm an intrusion. I don't swim or sink, I just float. I don't need gravity, I just need growth. Oh, when I move, it's an earthquake rumble I won't ever, ever fall, never stumble And I don't need to be humble Break down walls like Jericho crumble Everybody was duetting this song from home to abroad. We were in awe. The song is amazing. It carries weight. It speaks to you. It has a very deep, rich meaning to it. The song is also uplifting and empowering. It speaks to who we truly are in the inside at our core. It's a very deep song. See, I love Iniko. I love their work and I love this song. So I too, back then in April, even duetted the song. This is my duet of the song. You can see the views, right? Three million views. That's how viral this song was. Three million views is not because of Evie, it's because of the song and you know, the talent behind it, which is Iniko. This song was unstoppable and it went majorly viral across multiple pages. People love this song like mad. Only for us to now be finding out that there is one palm colored being who is talking about how the song is demonic and of the devil. The first time I heard it, I just knew, I felt in my spirit, like something just kind of stabbed me. I felt like a discernment that this is, this is a strategic song from the enemy. And that was it. I didn't have an answer. I didn't comment on the post. I didn't come down on the creator, nothing. Iye, I beg, make her hear what, stop the cap. You literally went in front of a congregation and you said, and I quote, this is Lucifer. This is Lucifer. What do you mean by you didn't come down on the creator? You took their art their crafts, their talent, you took their song, their creativity, and you demonized it. Like you could not have come down on them any more than you already did. She remade Iniko's song, talking about POV, when you couldn't stand the demonic lyrics swirling in your head, so you wrote your own. Then she trashed out Iniko's lyrics and replaced it with hers, one she considers to be better and divinely inspired. But then, here's the thing. She is still using Iniko's rhythm in Jericho while she is demonizing Iniko's Jericho and she intends to profit off of this. Hi, I've been saved by grace. I got Jesus on my mind and his blood running through my veins. Chains gone, I've thrown them far away. I'm a free agent now, no one's standing in my way. I've been dreaming about heaven for a long time and I'm not holding on to any of those old lies. I've had a vision of the one that said I had to die. Now he's my future, past and present, I got new life. He's right here, he's not an illusion. Anyone else is just an intrusion. He doesn't flinch or fail on his throne. He doesn't need anything, he stands alone. Oh. And when he moves, he makes all hell rumble. He won't ever, ever fall, never stumble. He's coming soon, so you better get humble. Bend your knee or like Jericho crumble. The caucasity and the hypocrisy. I just can't. Hosea, are we releasing the new song? We are? 
When are we releasing it? On Friday. On Friday. It's not coming out on Friday. But it will be soon. You know why and, you're in no way. And tonight, and no, no we were working on a music video for it. So that's really Jesus exciting. Just a homemade one homemade. with some friends helping us out. Thank Jesus you for your comment. Father. The fully produced version will be coming Jesus out very Father. soon. So stay tuned. And if you follow me, like on Apple Music, know you are staying where you are or Spotify, but no one can mess. Anyway, follow me on <laughs> on <laughs> Apple <laughs> Music, Spotify, Pandora, wherever, and you will get that as soon as it drops. And yes, she has a fellow Pam callouts in the comments encouraging her behavior. And I covered up her info that she placed on the video because I am not going to help a thief steal, especially if this thief is stealing from a black person. Biko, can somebody tell me when stealing left the Ten Commandments? Isn't stealing a sin again? But then again, I'm not surprised. This is an ancestral white Christian behavior. They have been historically stealing and rebranding people's age and at the same time telling you that it's God that told them to do this. So I'm not surprised. This is a classic colonizer behavior. And one very well-known trait characteristic of a colonizer is Jealousy. See, some people might see this as a rich, but I can bet that she was and still is jealous of Inigo. Jealous of their talent, their fame, their beauty, their aura. Because see, she called Inigo angelic. She was in awe of Inigo. The energy that they exude, she loved it. In her words, she was hypnotized by it. So you can see that this person is really into what Iniko has going for herself. So what did she do? Because she cannot recreate something that grand like what Iniko has created, she decided to, you know, usurp. That's the word, right? Yeah. She decided to usurp Iniko's creation instead and make it hers. Very similar to what we see this Leo Frobe guy do back then in the was it the 15th century no no scratch that not the 15th century the 19th century he came on the continent and then he saw what Africans had going and he was envious of what they had going he was in awe oh they created all of this great art they had amazing military government systems set up their architecture all of these were great they were grand and he loved it he was you know he was in awe of what Africans could do and had done and what did we see this man go to do he decided to say no it's not them that did it he found a way to turn everything around and make it so it was white people that get the credits for all of this i mean he tried but he woefully failed he wanted to make it so white people would get the credit for what african people on the continent had put together created but he failed again woefully his jealousy of African people's creativity, their art, their civilization made him bet his theory that is called the African Atlantis theory, a theory now that has been debunked. But yeah, very similar behavior, what we are seeing this woman do to the behavior of the Leo Frobenius guy. It's this behavior of, I see what you have going, I like it and I want it for me. No, I do not want to share and enjoy this thing with you. I don't want you to have it at all. I want it to be for me and me alone. So I know it's yours, but I'm going to find a way to make it mine while pushing you out the door totally. And this is why I call her a colonizer because she is acting in the typical colonizer fashion. This is typical colonizer behavior and it is historical behavior. And can we quickly talk about the fact that this woman is shamefully bragging about how she went viral using the same song that she had demonized, the same song that she had said was from the devil, the same song that she had demonized the original creator in Nico for. I got I got rewrite lyrics and it went viral. 
and as per her admission, Iniko has blocked her. So you know for a fact that Iniko did not give her the right for her to use her rhythm in this remake of Hearts. She is definitely 100% breaking copyright laws. So I cannot wait for the lawsuit to start rolling in. I cannot wait for her to get sued for copyright infringements. I find it strange that you picked her song specifically. There are plenty of songs that are actually demonic and you picked an uplifting one. Okay, so first of all, I didn't pick a song to remake. This was never my intent. I don't remake songs. I'm an original singer-songwriter. I was cleaning my house and literally remake words dropped to me to this entire song in a matter of five to 10 minutes. The original song Jericho had popped up on my FYP page so many times, I think because I hashtag sing singer-songwriter a lot. And the first time I heard it, I just knew, I felt in my spirit like something just kind of stabbed me. I felt like a discernment that this is, this is a strategic song from the enemy and that was it. I didn't have an answer, I didn't comment on the post, I didn't come down on the creator, nothing. I went away for a few weeks and when I came home from vacation, bam, the words just hit me and I felt like it was from the Holy Spirit. I honestly had no idea the impact it would have. I did it for my Christian community and to bring glory to God. And Nico has said something though. They wanted to know why they're being called Satan and demonic just for existing. That's such, that's such a victim take, honestly. And Nico wrote words that were clearly controversial. Controversial to who? What was controversial in Nico's lyrics? And then made a music video, which she's wearing like this, what looks to be a crown of thorns. It's, it's kind of more demonically charged. Um, she's on an altar looking thing. I mean, this this is definitely a bold, controversial take. This right here is why nobody can convince me that Christianity is not anti-African or anti-Black. Because I know that the only reason why she's making these demonic ties to Iniko's music video and the song is because Iniko is Black. That's why she's twisting and turning everything and trying to make it demonic and to look bad when it really isn't that deep. Like, this is art. There is nothing demonic here. It's not a crown of thorns. Because it's not looking like a real horn horn, she can't exactly ascribe it to bow for met or something. So she's like, okay, no, this is crown of thorns. Like, there is so much more the headpiece Nico had on could have signified. And at the same time, it could just be that the headpiece signified nothing. It could just be that they saw it and they thought, oh, this look cute. And it goes with my aesthetic because we know Nico has a certain aesthetic right and they just thought uh, i probably should incorporate this into the video it would look cute it look nice and that could have been it period but who truly cares what meaning lies behind in nico's headpiece why should we even ask her what it means in the video when we could just let this random white woman random white thief by the way random white colonizer um who lacks talent and can't come up with her own song so she decides to ride on the train of another person um and make money and get notoriety let's let her tell us without us even asking what the headpiece in nico had on in her music video means and again, it doesn't matter what this really means to Iniko. What matters is what the random white colonizer thief on the internet says it means. It's very interesting how everything about this song is demonic and of the devil, except the parts that she needed in her own song. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like, make it make sense, we're not stupid. If you truly believe this song was inspired by Lucifer, won't you leave the entire song alone and go, I don't know, compose your own song that was inspired by God from scratch? As an artist myself, I can't imagine that she wouldn't expect some difference of opinions when it comes to Christians. Our society has gone crazy. I never once called a Nico a demon or Satan, and I haven't seen anyone on the internet, and I've seen a lot now because it's on my algorithm, talk about the song Jericho and talk about Aniko as an artist, and I haven't once heard anyone, uh, anyone Christian calling her Satan. Now, what I have heard is people calling out the lyrics because according to the word of God, which we define as absolute truth, they are. Descriptions of Lucifer, Google it. Like, ascending above the heavens, 
um, being far away, right? You can't make this ish up. Now look at this. I swear, don't even dare thinking about or dreaming about becoming a pilot or an astronaut. You want to fly in the sky. You want to travel out of space. Demonic. Like people can't even use expressions like I'm high anymore. Demonic. Because what are you high of? Evil spirits. <laughs> you are high. Like high up in the sky. How high up are you exactly? And why are you high up there? Where you they go? <laughs> oh, how dare you use the expression to the moon and back? Why are you going to the moon? That's the devil. <laughs> That's Lucifer. All of these expressions we talk about um, is um, in reference to him. He's the one that's putting these words in our hearts. They, they, were, they were cast down, um, not to mention the whole thing about not being humble. The Bible says the Lord gives grace to the humble and opposes the proud. And then there's the reference, um, the out of context use of Jericho, which I'm sorry, it's just too much of a stretch for me, you guys, um, that, that it's about her African ancestry. I wouldn't know what Aniko is trying to communicate about this whole situation because she's blocked me a long time ago. So since you obviously don't know what Aniko meant by their lyrics, wouldn't it be best to just, I don't know, keep quiet and not come online and or go in front of a congregation and put your own meaning into their song, their lyrics and staple it as facts? But of course, as a white woman, I rule, by the way, you don't care about what could be. You don't care about what is. All you care about is what you want it to be. And that's why you are on this bandwagon, chairmaning the demonization of black creativity. And you don't care about the backlash because you can't be wrong. You are white, so you must be right, right? I've talked here about how white supremacy and Christian supremacy function in the American context, right? And this woman, W. Rose Worship or whatever, is a great example of that. She's the woman who was so mesmerized by Nico's song that she claimed the only reason this could be is because it's demonic. So she made a Christian remix of the song in the exact same tone. Hi, I've been saved by grace. I got Jesus on my mind and his blood running through my veins. And it doesn't even make sense theologically because why is Jesus' blood running through your veins? But I digress. She was called out for this behavior because it's white supremacy at work. It's anti-black and she said the lyrics were demonic. I personally asked her as a theologian to point out one lyric in a song that was demonic and she was unable to do so. And now she's sitting in church spewing the same bigotry to a congregation of people. Because white evangelical Christians believe that they're being persecuted, they take being held accountable and being called out as proof that they're doing something right. So instead of taking accountability for her anti-black behavior, she's going to preach about how she was attacked for standing up for the word of God. I am famous on TikTok as a colonizer white supremacist fake christian i've been called every uh, jezebel i've been called everything by christians and non-christians um and that's what happens when you hit demonic veins there's gonna be backlash and now she's not only demonized black music a practice that goes back to you guessed it slavery she has penned an entire congregation of predominantly white Christians against a black artist. I want to be very clear, in this climate, that is an act of violence. Aniko's already black and genderless, and now they're being flagged as satanic. And Aniko's being constantly, constantly misgendered by this woman, another act of violence. When all they did was make a song about a Bible story, a nod to their upbringing in church spaces. Um, on top of that, uh, gospel, too. I, I grew up in the church. I was a very avid uh, churchgoer. Outside of that, I didn't really have an outlet for my music, so I... Uh, it just, it, I poured it all into uh, worship, essentially. Um, my first solo, I was five years old. <laughs> And I sang happy birthday, Jesus. Now this woman is releasing a remix to streaming platforms, of course, without Aniko's consent, and is apparently working on a music video as well. This is the mindset of a colonizer. Aniko did it and it's evil, so now she's gonna take it, whitewash it, and Christianize it and make it better. So she demonizes the original song and gets to make money off the very thing that she called evil. Because we know that none of her original work has gone nearly as viral as the virality she got from the demonization of a black artist. The feeling that she felt welling up on the inside when she heard Aniko's song for the first time is white discomfort and internalized prejudice. And the worst part about all this is, if she does this video is going to further confirm to her that she was sent by the white man she was pointing to on her wall. He will never, ever fall, never stumble. Oh my god, corny, lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. Y'all, please go stream Jericho by Nico today and run it up one time. Love and light to you all, and as always, like and follow for more content. His blue my face. Get the yeah guys please go show Iniko some love and support i'm going to be linking down below in the description their socials and streaming platform 
And the crazy part is that this is not the first time someone had tried to colonize their song. That's how talented Iniko is. They just cannot help but try to steal their song. See, if you are good, you are good. And Iniko is good. This one earlier was talking about how she's an artist. Like, is the artist in a room with us? Like, how can you be online stealing just under our noses? We can see you stealing and you still have the audacity, the infantry to be talking about how you are an artist. Like, share you the wine me, knee. Ooh, the devil be busy, he be working. I had come across this, this song. And it's a song called Jericho. I don't know why, but I can't stop listening to it. Oh, I'm so hypnotized. Like, she's she's angelic. This is Lucifer. He is singing to a generation, trying to get us to identify with him. You guys, in minutes, when I came home from my vacation, cleaning the house, I got, I got rewrite lyrics. Number one, I bet you the Lord told her to rewrite those lyrics just like the Lord told those settlers manifest destiny. They, was, they write the spread from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Number two, we know preferred pronouns is a thing because somebody call y'all father, God, or she, y'all gonna be upset, right? Nico preferred pronoun is they. That's important. Number three, I want y'all to see what's at play right here. Colonialism and Christianity is able to inscribe the devil of you being a heathen, and that's supposed to justify the psyche of them taking what's yours, you see what I'm saying, and using it for their benefit, you know? I got, I got rewrite lyrics, and it went viral. A lot of Christians said thank you, like I knew something was off, but I didn't know why. I am famous on TikTok as a colonizer, white supremacist. Fake Christian, I've been called every Jezebel, I've been called everything by Christians and non-Christians. I used to attend this uh, Christian sports camp called Canica KA when I was a little kid. You feel me? I was even a little counselor there for a little bit. But peep game. It used to always bother me how they use this little binary of being secular and being of the God. You know what I'm saying? Or non-secular. And they used to always do very little weird things for black culture like this woman is doing right here. The things that are palatable, digestible, you feel me, that I can incorporate from your artistic expressions, uh, we're going to add that to the mix and I'm going to benefit from it the way I can. But the things that I find distasteful and the things that I don't like and don't understand, I'm going to say it's the devil. I'm going to say it's ungodly. And I'm going to say that you should leave it of the world. They might hit you with the Romans 12 too. You're supposed to transform, you feel me, your mind. and no, Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but transform, you feel me, by renewal of your mind. You feel me? They might walk you down the entire Romans road, you feel me, all roads lead to Rome, while they demonize your culture. Shout out to Donnell Wrights, man. I seen his video where Iniko talked about how they got their inspiration, their voice, you see what I'm saying, from the church. So to see that this woman is trying to weaponize the church against Iniko is kind of baffling. Very on brand, though. It's American as apple pie, being able to use Christian doctrines and understandings to be able to extrapolate a little bit of colonialism, a little bit of cultural appropriation in the name of sweet baby white Jesus. Ooh, wee. I feel so bad for Eniko. My heart goes out to them. I hope that she pursues this legally. This is their hard work. This is their creativity. This is their genius. And right under their nose, right under all our noses, this woman is shamelessly attempting to steal it. But not just that though. She is in the process still demonizing Eniko's work while elevating hers, making Eniko's work to be something dark and you know something to be looked away from whilst making her something that should be looked upon it's so not fair it's very aggravating nobody should have to experience this i hope iniko doesn't let this slide at all i hope they pursue this legally if she's going to pay from her nose i don't even care she needs to pay well guys let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are and once again do not forget to go support iniko links down below in the description thank you very much for watching let's continue this conversation down below in the comment section and of course as always i'll see you guys in the next one